Okay, so now we're going to start uh, preparing the waistband for the casing. And I just found this really cool tool um, to use uh, to help you measure. So, but you can use a hem gauge and that's what I've been using all these years until I just found this, um, this really cool tool that I'm gonna try out uh, for the first time with you guys. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold down a half an inch to, to turn under that raw edge because we don't like raw edges. So looking at this tool here, it's got it marked here a quarter, a half, three quarters, and then one inch. So this line right here is a half an inch. So what we're gonna do is place this here and fold the raw edge so that it meets a half an inch and then push this tool up against that. And, and then we're gonna take the iron and we're gonna press that. making sure that raw edge is on that half inch line there and press. So I'm just folding that, pushing that there, there, and then I'm gonna move down move this around and do the same thing here. Get it positioned and then press. So if you can't get this tool at home, then what you would do basically is move your hem gauge here and just hold that in place and then iron it. So, so it would be like, like that, you'd fold it down, hold it, and then press. So. so now I've turned under a half an inch. Now, what I'm gonna do is fold this down like so, and now it becomes an inch and a half. So we're gonna um, do this. Go ahead and measure an inch and a half, and we're gonna pin like that. And then fold down another just keep going all the way around. Make sure you're pinning where you're pinning this edge. So you gotta go down through all layers and back up. And so I'll use your hem gauge here. Now I could use this tool too, but I wanted to show this alternative because um, I'm not sure where you can get, I ordered this online and I'm not sure I haven't, look for it at Joann's to see if they have it or not. Um, but you're going to go like this measure inch and a half there. I want to make sure this seam matches there. And I'm going through all layers, pin through and back up.
comes back where I started. And then after I get this all pinned, then I'm going to go and press um, that folded edge. Okay, so now it's all pinned. And now I'm going to press the opposite edge right here. And you can press the other edge too if you want. Now, what you need to do next is um, look to see what where your back is, the back part of the pants. Now, there's a couple of ways you can you can um, tell the difference by the notches that were cut here. So remember, two notches was the front. So here's my two cuts right here. So that's the front, and then my three slits back here represented the back. So that's one way you can tell. The other way is you can look inside the pants and see where the center seam is. So you can open the pants up like this and you can look at which one of, which one is has the shorter um, scoop and then remember the back has a bigger scoop so you can open it up and look inside and you're looking for that center seam so this is telling me that it's the back so those are the two ways you can tell so you're going to determine what your back is and what you're going to do is take one of these pins out and you're going to leave a three finger hole here so i'm going to double pin go through all layers and come up and pin like that and then do my three finger hole on the opposite side of that seam and what that's going to tell you is you're going to leave that as a hole because we got to insert the elastic through this hole and then we'll start stitching right here along this edge all the way around and then we'll stop right here so now we've prepped the waistband and then the next step is we're going to sew it down. <laughs> 